Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome to Philippine Antics. I'm Heidi. I'm George. And we're here to bring you the information that you've been looking for. And today's topic, George. Today, today. <clears throat> Dude. Hairball. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to do a show here. All right, guys. We're gonna talk about phones, <laughs> as you guys requested. All right. So, how do phones work here? What kind of phone are you gonna carry? What kind of phone are you gonna bring? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right. So, guys. All right. Remember. I mean, when expats come to the Philippines, they think it's like a little tiny rickety island or something like that, somewhere around the size of Hawaii. It's not. It's a big. It's a big country, and it's very sparse, meaning like it's spread out literally. Okay, guys. So what that means is there are several multiple cell phone carriers, and also I can't tell you which one's the best because it's actually per area. So, for example, where we're at, Smart is the best one, and. If you go further down towards um, Angel City in the center, then Globe is better. So bottom line, guys, it's... And, and there's Sun. There's another one and there's Sun. Sun. Yeah, those are the three major ones. There's major. other ones, of course. Um, but again, you have to research, as the locals, what phone do they use, okay? And that's what I did. They say here for our area, they use Smart, but we have Globe. <laughs> there's also postpaid and prepaid in this country. So. Prepaid is when you go to the sorry sorry stores or a side vendor that actually sells just the card and then it's called a load where you just yeah. um, reload up, you already have the card, you have to buy the card, I'll have George explain that in a minute. Um, but besides that, the other type of phone that they have here is the good old fashioned phone. Where's that George? Grab on your phone over there. Phone. The old phone over there. Phone. Oh. Landline people. Landline. Landline. See Landline. if there was anybody there George? Hello, it's Hello. your mother. Hello. Hello. So we do have a landline here. Um, that kind of come with our internet service. Our internet service is around 1900 um, is the even amount. That's with everything added in there. And if that includes the phone line. The thing is, is making phone line to cell phone. So far, we haven't been able to get it to work. I'm assuming phone to phone line, landlines is actually a free situation. But when you try to call a uh, a cell phone currently it doesn't work the way it does. Anymore. Yeah, they, you get charged. we for our plan anyway, and for our area again, it could be different somewhere else because that's everything's fun in the Philippines. Everything's different. Guys. Oh my God, it doesn't make a difference. Every every LTO, the license to get your driver's license, every office is different. You could be told no five times a row in five different cities, and it'll say, "Come on in, and I'll give it to you." You know, it really works like that. Yes. The same with immigration. You can go to five different cities, Manila, Cebu. And you just keep going around and the same thing and all of a sudden they'll be like, yeah, come on in. And it's like, really? So right. it just it does work like that in the Philippines. That's how it works. It's, in, there's, there's no... No, that's why we say don't listen to fake pats. Don't listen to people who's, who actually aren't in the Philippines or are not born and raised Filipinos. Oh my God, yeah. Um, Always best to talk to the It's locals. different, guys. I mean, I know I don't speak like a natural born citizen of the Philippines, but I am. He is me. a citizen um, But of again, like... Like I said, there's a lot of things I know that I can't even blurt out, but bottom line is, guys, we're ta talking to you about the real deal. Right. All right, so can you bring your phone here that you own right now? Well, it depends. What do you have? Um, just so you guys know, I I'm, I'm actually was a big Verizon rep in the United States. Um, actually, they, Verizon flew me around the United States in different states. Um, when they somebody answers my phone call, from corporate, they were like, wait, you're the George blah, blah, blah? <laughs> really? Like, yeah, that's me. Um, so bottom line, yes, um, phones are my forte. Now, what phones can you bring? Okay, now here's the deal. First off, there in America, there's, or, okay, there's mainly two, CDMA and GSM. Okay, I'm not trying to, like I said, I'm talking about in America, CDMA and GSM, because those are two major ones. Um, now, if you have a CDMA phone, can you use it here? Mm, depends. Okay, now here's the thing. In order to use your CDMA phone here in the Philippines, you do need to have a CDMA to GSM adapter, which costs extra money, which costs extra battery. Bottom line, guys, don't do it. Don't do that. Don't, don't, basically you'll be carrying two phones with you just to have just to have your CDMA phone work here, okay? Next, 
GSM. Okay, your GSM phone in the United States will work here. However, it has to be factory unlocked. It has to be unlocked, guys. Yeah, you can't be making a payment in another country right. on your phone. So let's say you're from Verizon. Um, let's say you're from Verizon, guys. Um, your you didn't unlock it. It's not gonna work here. Yeah. The the phone will actually tell you SIM ca card is not a Verizon phone. Or the same thing, guys. If you have AT and T, SIM card is not an AT and T SIM card. It will tell you that, and basically you're dead in the water. So make sure it's unlocked. Okay, guys. Um, next one. Um, if you can, if let's say you don't want to unlock your phone, you just want to buy a new one. I recommend a. See, this is. This is one of our Mexican phones, and if you can see, there's actually two slots, guys. It's one right here, one right here, okay? Now what I'm showing you is, this slot is a SIM card slot, and this card is a SIM card slot under the SD card. I didn't take out the SD card so you can see it. The SD card is on top, the SIM card slot is on the bottom, and this is what they call a dual SIM phone. Now why am I, why am I showing you this? Because, for instance, Let's say right now, we are currently in a smart tower area, which means smart works. Okay guys, oh, it works yeah, great here. But if we have globe, okay. But let's say we drive to the next city over, and that happens to be a globe city and not a smart city as far as towers are concerned. And then you lose your, of course, you lose your smart, card and then your globe picks up so if you have a dual sim if you can afford it that means you can avail of whatever two major towers in the area again I'm just telling you in our area those are two major ones globe and smart in your area it may be different guys and just for a quick note that Filipinos are the largest user of SMS in the actual world most mobile networks are all um, are almost all over the Philippines in most places the GPRS or the GSM technology is available while G3 or the UTMS networks are accessible only in big urban areas like Manila, Cebu, Davao. So as George was saying, Davao or as I say, Basically Kennedy, the Kennedy. major metropolitan <laughs> areas have basically better coverage and more options as far as signal is concerned, as far as service providers are concerned. It varies. Right. So it really um, does. And Filipinos love to text because Filipinos love to chat. They do, so, but um, you can again get your loads at the store, you can, we bought our SIM cards, um, they're available at like Dow Gold, they're available at SM, where do they have the actual, I know you can buy loads from Actually, other lo loading the phone is not the problem guys, and getting the SIM is not the problem. The problem is, is the UI interface, meaning user interface, um, what it means is, for instance, again, it may be different for the carrier that you're in. For instance, for Smart and Globe, when you put in the SIM card, you have to pay for the data plan, and then what do you do? Yeah, that happened with us with both Globe, and it happened with, uh, what was the other one we Smart. tried? Smart. Smart. We couldn't get it to, and George knows, and I know, we're both technically inclined, so we had a hard time because first we had to buy one type of plan, I believe it was like a beginner's package or something, we had to put our foot in the door to get all of our information registered, and then they allowed us to pay the 400 pesos for the unlimited for the month and all of that, so each one of them are a little different, a little, um, you know, yeah, difficult kind of, to yeah, operate. Yeah, kind of like Gcash, we didn't go in deep about details because Quite honestly, it's different per app, per situation, per everything, guys. Yeah, whether Same thing with the phones. Yeah, whether... Um, yeah, as, as in such, it is actually different with the phone, the same with the Gcash. You know, Gcash, you can use direct. Right. Or you can use directly at the store, or, you know, you have to apply for the credit card and pay for the credit card separately. It's all secure transactions, but each one's different. Sometimes they require a pen when you're on the spot. Sometimes it is let you just walk yeah, through the like, swipe. Sometimes it's easy, depending on the app. Again, it's, it's, it's like all different, the, guys. It's, it's like all, all over the world. You know, when you're actually using yeah. your credit card, do they always ask you for a pen? Do they, or do some all demand a pen, like we used to get all the time in the U.S. and Mexico and all this? So it all actually depends. And the phone, basically, we had to buy a very small plan first and put all our information in. Now, if you guys go for a postpaid plan, which means you're going directly into the store, usually you have to make an appointment. If you try to call these stores, they will not answer the phone. It's not like, it's 
it's kind of like 10 times worse than the United States trying to get into Verizon and you just have to actually walk in. So you do have to walk in. And then at that point, it's a lot of the requirements. They have a, there's a lot of things going on at these phone stores and it's not as simple as it actually seems. There was a point where they talked about, they give you a cash rebate back, some will give you a free phone, but then they're not direct about what it is. And it's kind of like, to me, like Russian, no, I can't even say it. But I can't yeah, bottom line, guys, it's all different. Bit. And it's it's not as easy as it sounds. So the way um, Globe and Smart are understanding, you buy a data plan and then you buy the thing, which doesn't make sense if you're from the West. It's a lot easier than trying to do your postpaid plan, that's right. for sure. And I know there are qualifications. I'm, I am not going to state that a foreigner cannot actually get an actual postpaid plan, but I know it requires all kinds of ID, a permanent address. It requires right. a lot of things. George can qualify. At this point, I don't have the qualifications. So, uh, you know, yeah. so it's and not it's not easy. like the U.S. where you can go to Seven Eleven. Okay, Seven Eleven is here, guys. Okay, but it's not the same. What I'm saying is. Okay, 7-Eleven, you go, okay, um, I'm going to go buy a, okay, I'm talking about the U.S. here, guys. I'm going to buy a Virgin Mobile, and I'm going to buy this plan, and then you just come home and activate the pin, right? No. There's no such thing here, guys. No. No such thing. They'll be like, if you say, oh, how much is the load? They'll give you the card, and then you're at home, and then it doesn't work because it's not the same routine, completely different routine. Basically, the load plans they have in the stores is for your pre-existing plan already. Not fresh from the start. Completely different. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, we wanted to cover this topic today. If you guys have any questions, be sure to contact us at philippineantics at gmail.com. If we don't know and George doesn't know and the cats don't know, we will look this up and talk to some of our expat friends and other people. Um, and please make comments below. We'd like to hear from you guys. Um, give us any ideals for any up-and-coming um, videos that we'll actually be doing. Comment, and we'll answer these questions back. If you'll just comment, we'll answer you guys back. Let you know how we feel. We've just been keeping it real, guys. Uh, a lot of people don't like the way we talk because we try to keep it real, and we get a lot of flack and things back and forth on what we actually say. Guys, I mean, we're, we're open-minded. I mean, share your experiences with phones, too. So... We're talking about phones right now. Share your experiences, good or bad. Yeah, let thumbs us know. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Mean, Guys, let us know where you're at. Okay. We're not proclaiming to be professionals in cell phones or professionals in all over the Philippines, but this these are basics to help you guys because when I came here, it was totally different for me. We learn in traveling, and a lot of people get here. We get a lot of emails and comments, actually, in regards to the situation that we more hear so by email and phone calls about this situation yes. so and it's it was a highly requested right. situation and what you know in the west or wherever country, country or continent you're from may not apply here because again i was a big verizon guy in the U u.s and guess what all my knowledge here as far as setting it up and everything went boom. and he's a citizen so that's the craziness so it's it really is mm -hmm. not as easy as it seems but it's we're not. trying to help you guys so as we always say, keep your heads up and your hearts open, guys. And we'll see, see you soon, soon in, the in the Philippines, guys. Bye. Bye. It's still hot. Anyway. Oh. I have no data plan. You pay me money and give me money for a data plan. No, you don't get a cell phone. No cell phone for you. You use the landline. That's it. It's over. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.